Tony Keith here, the digital content manager at KKTV 11 News and 11 News at 9 Anchor. We are jumping in on Facebook and KKTV.com with an 11 breaking news alert. What you're looking at right now is a crash involving a school bus in Colorado Springs. So this is a live look at that crash site. Um, this is in the area of where Highway 83 meets Powers. Uh, those of you not familiar with that, it's also connecting to InterQuest, but it's on the north side of the city. What we've confirmed so far at the scene, it involves a D20 bus. That's what you're seeing there on the right side of your screen. The truck here on the left and uh, an investigation is underway. I know the first thought when you see a school bus, were there kids on board? And we learned from police that at least five kids or students, I should say, we're on board this school bus. As far as injuries go, the latest information we have, injuries at most might be minor, um, described as maybe shaken up. So some good news there, we aren't aware of any serious injuries at this time, but there is an investigation under the way that could change. I know a lot of people are wanting to know what school was this school bus heading to. So uh, schools in that area, you know, we've got DCC up off of Northgate. We've got Pine Creek High School off of Powers. Um, those are my best guesses. We reached out to the district. They don't have a lot of details for us on, uh, you know, this particular crash. We may have been the ones to alert them uh, of this crash, but all of this is so fresh. We just wanted to jump on, get the big message out there because a lot of people are driving by this right now is that there is a crash investigation underway involving this bus that you're looking at. Our chief photographer got to the scene about 15, 20 minutes ago. We first learned about this thanks to a viewer tip as they were driving by. So latest information we have, crash involving a D20 school bus. Um, there were kids on board, at least five is how it was described to us. So could be more than five. Um, this does look like a bit of a smaller bus compared to some of the other D20 buses that we've seen. Um, the good news, the latest from police, and this always can change, is that students on board, um, minor injuries, maybe not even any injuries, they might have just been um, shaken up is how it was described to us. And then there's uh, another vehicle involved, this white truck that you're seeing right here. So if you're just joining us, it's now 1025. Um, this is a crash scene involving a D20 school bus at the part, north part of Colorado Springs. This is where Highway 83 meets Powers and then becomes InterQuest. So I know uh, a lot of people are familiar with that area. Uh, it can be confusing when describing this intersection. But if you're at the very north end of Powers before you either choose to get onto 83 or head um, west toward InterQuest. Uh, this is all under investigation. This is developing right now. Our chief photographer on scene hasn't been able to get too many details, but uh, a shout out to Lindsay Gruy, um, one of our digital content producers and Good News Friday reporter. She was able to touch base with police, get some details, and then also D20 right now is looking into more for us, so we appreciate that. Uh, all this unfolding right now. I'm going to step aside for a second, see if I can get some more details. Um, and then I'll come back with one quick recap of what we know so far. Again, this is all so fresh. We're going to keep you updated best we can. Uh, but I'll be right back in a couple of minutes and, and see if we do have any updated information either from the district or from police. Jumping in one last time, this is Tony Keith, the digital content manager in 11 News at 9 Anchor at KKTV 11 News with an 11 breaking news alert. It is 1027 right now, and what you're looking at is a live scene, a crash scene involving a D20 school bus. This along Highway 83, close to Powers, that's on the north side of the city. The latest from police, they got the call at about 930 this morning for this crash. Um, students were on board, we're told at least five. And from what we know right now, early into the investigation, minor injuries, if not even that, no injuries at all, and 